Greetings from the Ericos. This is Matt Shad. On this wonderful Saturday, I'm taking it easy. I got my feet propped up. I'm enjoying this weather. Uh, yeah, it's a great day. It's a great day. Tell you about those who did not have a great day. Those Americans that are trapped in Afghanistan, left there by Trader Joe's malicious slash incompetent regime. At least we forget that 13 servicemen and women died at Abbey Gate, along with 200 other poor souls. And 300 plus people lost arms and legs and limbs, things that don't grow back. A lot of them were service members as well. Every day, never forget, and never forget whose fault this is. But there was hope. It's folks getting them out. Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple, Project Exodus, Project Animal Christian Coalition, Mighty Old Foundation, just to name a few. Mm hmm. At least we forget that 200 plus people are still incarcerated for the J6 debacle. I say plus because they're arresting more. Some for just talking about it. Hmm. Yeah. Every morning they make a phone call to their family and loved ones and sing at the top of their lungs the national anthem. Who see, can you see, by the dawn's early light? Yeah, you know that song? Yeah. Yeah. Every day, never forget and never forget whose fault this is. But there's hope. There's thousands of people, family, friends, loved ones, charitable organizations, congressmen, congresswomen, representatives, and senators that are on their side. But, uh, you know, people, uh, lawyers doing pro bono work, things of that nature, sending care packages, uh, all kinds of stuff, all against a corrupt, tyrannical Department of Justice. Yeah. Yeah. But there is hope, right? There is hope. Uh, meanwhile, breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news, broken news. I don't know. Mm. But uh, our uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. has just like uh, went through a assassination attempt. Uh, they're calling it an assassination attempt, but it's it's all preliminary. They just arrested this guy. He's dressed up in hell of a garb, uh, impersonating a, a a law enforcement official officer and uh he had an open gun he said he was with the u.s marshals and just walked right on in to his uh to rfk's uh he was having a in a a get together uh, hispanic town hall meeting or something in la uh this guy he had like three different badges on him from different organizations he was wearing an emt shirt he had, he had a gun shoulder holster on the outside of his little sweater crazy crazy uh i just heard about it from uh uh my friend fed up american uh and then i went to uh kow news to catch the the video of the arrest uh gavin d uh gavin d becker and associates is uh is who's doing the uh the security for rfk rfk uh is the only uh, he, he's not, he's not, uh, awarded secret service, um, protection. Hmm. Why? Hmm. Uh, they, they, they haven't given it to him. They're like, eh. Uh, but you know, it's, they don't do that for a lot of people that they don't think are going to win or, or, or low profile, uh, presidential candidates. I mean, uh, you know, I, I could try, I could put my name on the ballot and I'm not going to get secret service protection. You know what I mean? Uh, RFK. Yeah, he, he should have had, but he has a uh, Gavin D Becker, uh, and associates, a top notch, uh, security protection detail. They work for a lot of, uh, agencies. They do a lot of teaching, uh, they they provide protection for judges for the Supreme Court uh, for the CIA for the field they, they they provide a lot of protection for a lot of people uh, and they're top-notch most of them are ex-military ex-marines 
Hoorah, Semper Fi, yut, yut. Um, well regarded in the near field. They're the ones that detained this guy, this imposter. Uh, there were no shots fired or anything of that nature. It was just this guy's walking around with a outfit on, telling everybody he's a this and that, uh, trying to gain access. And they're like, nope. Bam, we're detaining you. Called LAPD, and they did a a a uh, an arrest. <laughs> uh, more to come out about this guy. I don't know. Uh, who is he working for? Who is he? I'm sure that'll come out. Uh, I have my uh, my suspicions and theories. Um, <laughs> I I don't know of any. Uh, not too many. Uh, uh, not. I don't know if he had a neck tattoo. If there was a scar, I think it was a neck tattoo. But just reading him is just all over the damn place. Uh, but I, I I don't know a lot of Leos that have neck tattoos. <laughs> You know, it's uh, any any type of paramilitary organization. Um, you know, they they have high high grooming standards, and one of them uh, is they frown upon neck tattoos and long hair and shit like that, uh, unless they're in character or something, unless they're in deep cover, right? <laughs> Clandestine deep cover. I don't know, uh, but. Yeah, interesting to see how how much what comes out about all this. Um, what else? Meanwhile, yeah, uh, that's that's about it for right now. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, check that out. Uh, see what you think. Is it is it a, is it is it is it real? Uh, is it uh, or is this a PR stunt? I don't know. You decide. You are the decider. So, go Team Linda. Go Team Linda. Fuck cancer. She's kicking ass, taking names, and getting stronger by the day. Go Team Baby Harper. She as well. Just brand new to this world a few months. And uh, already in the fight for her life. And she is winning. So, this has been Mad Shad. Every day, never forget.